So that's about a mission far away from our planet. What about the mission to save our planet? Are we taking the fight against climate change seriously at all? Well a new report has emerged, it has another warning and this one more serious than the last one. Climate change is taking a toll on our planet and some of the most famous glaciers are bearing the brunt. They could soon disappear and time is running out to act. These are some of the world's most famous glaciers in the Dolomites in Italy, the Yosemite and Yellowstone parks in the United States. And Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, come 2050 these glaciers could disappear. Thanks to global warming, that is even if emissions are curbed and regardless of the temperature rise scenario. This is according to a UNESCO report, which serves as the most serious warning in recent times of the impact of climate change, which continues to make its prisons felt across the world. Glaciers are one of the most valuable and visible indicators of climate change. According to the UN body since 2000, the glaciers have been retreating at an accelerated rate, and this is all due to carbon dioxide emissions, which is causing the warming up of our planet. World Heritage Glaciers represented about 10% of the world's glacier areas. They include some of the world's best-known glaciers and their loss is highly visible as they are focal points for global tourism. Every year World Heritage Glaciers are losing 58 billion tons of ice. This represents the water consumed over a year in France and Spain combined, and I would say that this is a particularly a warning and alarming because the risks that are implied by this are manifold. This could lead to coastal erosion for instance, but also a high risk of cyclones, storms and tsunamis. The United Nations Cultural Agency UNESCO monitors some 18,600 glaciers across 50 of its World Heritage Sites. It says that a third of those are said to disappear by 2050. What about the rest? Well there is hope given that, we act they can be saved by keeping the global temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius relative to pre-industrial levels. What happens also is that even if we stop emissions as of today, these glaciers have inertia, you know in the sense that changes will keep happening and we will definitely need measures at site level to adapt to these changes. The clock is ticking as world leaders are set to gather in Egypt for the UN COP27 climate summit. They have a choice to make to walk the talk and act or make more pledges and fail to deliver with our planet's future at stake. 